Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a 30 minute power vinyasa flow. This is a no repeats flow so we're just going to do a lot of poses in a sequence with a warm up and a cool down of course. We will move a little bit faster pace since it is a power vinyasa so if you like a more traditional flow or want to move slower try some of my slow flow classes and you don't need any equipment unless you like a block or a strap you can go ahead and grab those there's a spotify playlist down below and let's get started in a child's pose take the knees wide big toes to touch extend the fingers forward as you lower onto the forehead Take a moment to settle, arriving on the four corners of the mat. And start to observe any feeling sensations in the physical body, any lingering thoughts in the mind. And know that whatever you observe, you don't have to do anything about right now. Rather using it as a tool to deepen your awareness of this moment in time. Start to deepen the breath. Lengthen the inhalation and exhalation. And notice as you deepen the breath, all of those other things start to fade into the background. Let the breath be your anchor through this practice, the thing that you come back to, to tune in to the present moment. Let's take one more deep breath in. And deep breath out. When you're ready, shift up to a tabletop, hands and knees. Stack your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, spread the fingers wide. On your inhale, start to drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, cow pose. Exhale to tuck and round, press into the hands, draw the chin towards the chest. Again like that, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat round. Inhale. And exhale couple more times on your own feel free to add on to this movement barrel roll the hips sway the head shift the hip side to side lean into your intuition what does your body want in this moment one more round And then as you're ready, come back to a neutral table. Extend your left leg out in line with the hip. Plant the foot flat on the floor. From here, press into your left hand. On your inhale, start to open the right arm. Find a twist. On the exhale, thread it through towards the left foot. Come on to right shoulder. If this variation doesn't feel great in your body, you can always take it with the left knee down. Either keep pressing left hand into the mat or lift it up and around into the right hip crease for extra shoulder opening. And then gently release left hand to the mat. Inhale to open back up to your twist. On your exhale, take your right hand to your right calf ankle or heel left arm by the ear press the hips forward into this half camel variation with the left leg extended draw left shoulder in towards the midline press the heart up to the sky take a deep breath in and a deep breath out next inhale come all the way back up lift both fingers to the sky exhale plant the hands onto the mat so to bend into your left knee and then extend the leg a couple more times. Bend, 
and extend, opening up through left inner thigh, hip. And then come back through stillness, press the hips back towards the heel, and then shift back forward, two more like that. Beautiful. When you come back forward, take left knee behind right, press the hips back, find a Gomukhasana, right knee on top of left, extend the arms long, open up through the heart, and then cross right arm underneath left, ego arms, press the palms together. Use an inhale, start to lift the elbows to the sky. Exhale to draw the elbows in towards the belly. Inhale to lift. Exhale to pull. One more time like that. Open back out. Shift forward. Plant the hands. Uncross the legs. Tabletop. Second side. Right leg extends in line with the hip. Plant the foot flat on the mat. Press into your right hand. Inhale. Open to a twist. Exhale. Left arm underneath you. Twisted puppy variation. Come on to left shoulder. You can stay pressing into the right hand or lift it up and around into your left hip crease. And then gently release right hand. Open to your twist one more time. Use an in-breath. On your out breath, press the hips forward, left hand to the calf, ankle, maybe heel of the left foot, and press the hips forward, the heart up to the sky. Use an in breath, come back up, plant both hands, find your tabletop with the leg extended, so to bend into your right knee, and then extend it a few more times. Final time. And then come back through center, cross right leg behind left, go Mukhasana, sit at the back of the mat, left knee on top, reach the arms out wide, breathe in, breathe out left arm underneath right, eagle, press palms together as you lift the elbows, draw the elbows in towards the belly, feel that stretch in the tops of the shoulders, two more times. Come back through center, open the arms, plant the hands on the mat, uncross the right leg, tuck the toes, breathe in, breathe out, downward facing dog. You can pedal it out right away, bend the right knee, then left, press into the hands, feel that traction, the spine, take a deep breath in, and a long breath out. Make your way back to stillness on your inhale, start to lift the heels, gaze forward. Exhale, take as many steps as you need to travel to the top of the mat. Feet land, hips width, find a rag doll for a moment. Folding over the legs, you can hold opposite elbows or any other arm variation that is calling your name. Maybe you sway side to side a little bit. Breathing into the posterior chain or backside of the body. Place the hands to the mat, heel toe feet together, big toes touch. Next inhale, come all the way up, one vertebra at a time. Head neck last thing to rise. Reach the fingers up once you arrive, inhale. Exhale, cactus the arms, draw the shoulder blades together behind you. Inhale, reach the fingers high. Exhale, fold over the legs, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, Urda, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. Holding here for a moment, press into your hands, protract the shoulders. Belly button in and up towards the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, start to shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes when you arrive. Press fingertips wide into the mat. Inhale, start to lift into a high cobra. Exhale, drop right shoulder, gaze to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop left shoulder, gaze to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower all the way down. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Inhale to lift the heels, gaze forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale, rise. Root into your feet. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back. High plank to chaturanga. Shift forward and halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips high. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more sun eye. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step, maybe float. Chaturanga to up dog. We always meet back in down dog. Option to skip any vinyasa. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Next, inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Keep the leg straight, but open the hip. So think stacking right hip on top of left. Really press into the hands and let the heart open towards the sky. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, straight leg, tap right toes outside of right hand. Inhale, lift them back up, open the hip. Exhale, straight leg, tap. Use your core. Inhale to lift. Exhale, straight leg tap, and then step right foot outside of right hand for a lizard. Drop the hips, inhale, think up dog. Exhale, start to press into the hands, straighten through the legs, fold. Two more times like that. Option for blocks underneath the hands, inhale, drop the hips. Exhale, press the hips back and straighten. Final time through, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to drop the hips, gaze forward. Exhale to step malasana, top of the mat, heels in, toes out. Readjust the feet as you need to. Press the hands to the heart center, knees away from the midline, crown to the sky. Find your breath. One more deep breath in. On the breath out, fold at the top of the mat. Take fingers around, big toes, padangustasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the elbows and fold over the legs. Draw the crown of the head towards the mat. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Release the hands from the feet. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Heel toe the feet to touch. Exhale to fold. Chair, use a breath in. Come on up. Bend into the knees. Reach the fingers to the sky. Exhale to sink low. Can you take your weight into your heels? Take a deep breath in. Breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart center. Twist over towards the right. Hook your left elbow. Press the palms together. Roll your right shoulder back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Next, inhale, gaze down. Start to lift the left heel. Curl it in towards the glute. Exhale, slow and controlled. Step it back, twisted crescent. Continue to press the hands together. Left heel is lifted. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Funky transition. We're going to keep the hands at the heart, but spiral to a side angle. So right elbow will be at right thigh. Opening up towards the left side of the mat. Press your right elbow into your right thigh to spiral the chest open even more. Take a deep breath in. 
stay for the breath out. Next, inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, half moon, right hands down, left arm high. Flex the left toes, you can stay here. Maybe you find a chapasana. Take hold of the left foot. Gaze at one point, find your drishti. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale to release the top leg if you have it. Exhale, land, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, reach back as you straighten the right leg. Exhale, triangle pose, right hand down, left arm to the sky. Breathe in and breathe out. Next, inhale, so just sweep your left arm by your ear. Feel that stretch in the side body. On the exhale, plant the left hand to the inside of the right foot. Option to grab the toe lock. We're rolling to a side plank. It can look like anything that feels right in your body. So you can take the bottom knee to the mat. You can stack the feet. Find your breath. And then release the top foot if you have it. Wild thing is where we'll meet. Right toes tucked under. Press the heart to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Stay for the breath out. Use an inhale, come back to your side plank. Maybe you hover the right foot the whole time. Exhale, step, right foot, top of the mat, low twist, breathe in. Breathe out, horizons, lunge, dip the hips, reach towards the back of the mat. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, big transition, Shiva squat. Plant the right hand outside of the right foot. Launch forward, maybe you hover the hands to the heart center. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, Shiva squat. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, warrior three. Maybe you extend the arms behind you or forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Land. High crescent. Take a deep breath in. Breath out. Open, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Heels in, toes out. Drop the hands to the thighs. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, drop your right shoulder, gaze to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop your left shoulder, gaze to the right. Inhale through center, press into the feet, lift for your star. Exhale, skandasana, back of the mat, bend into your left knee. Lower all the way down onto your hips. Reach right hand towards left ankle, left arm towards right foot. Open up through the heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back up. Take your left hand to the outside of the left knee. Spin towards the front of the mat as you hug the left knee into the chest for a little hip opening. We're going to go for a compass pose into eight angle or asvakrasana if you would like to. You can always stay in the first version of the shape. So crown lifted. Right leg is extended or you can bend it in if that feels more supportive for you. Gently opening through left hip. And then if you would like to play into compass, work your left arm underneath your left leg. You can use both hands to help it up onto the shoulder. Keep your left hand on it as you take your right hand to the outside of the left foot. Left hand down by the hip and then straighten through your left leg any amount. Beautiful, and then you can stay there or you can hug the knee onto the tricep. Plant the right hand down next to the right thigh, cross right leg over your left, and find your eight angle. Hinge the torso forward, find chaturanga arms, and squeeze left leg onto left arm. When you're ready, come back to a seat. We'll all meet in a seat to find a boat pose. Reach the fingers forward, knees up to a tabletop. Breathe in. Breathe out, inhale, exhale. One more deep breath in, breath out, cross the ankles, plant the hands, step or float, chaturanga. Up dog to down dog, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful, let's do that all again. Inhale, left leg to sky, open the hip stacking through the left side body. 
Take a deep breath in, breath out, straight leg tap, left toes outside of left hand. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, straight leg tap. One more, inhale, lift back up. Exhale, straight leg tap, and then step your lizard. Keep the right knee lifted, inhale, drop the hips, lift the crown. Exhale, fold over the left leg. Two more times like that. Beautiful. Next time, find your lizard breathing. Breathe out, step Malasana. Top of the mat, heels in, toes out. Hands travel to the heart center. Press palms together, lift the crown. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale to fold over the legs. This time, Pada Hastasana. Hands underneath the feet, toes to your wrists. Inhale, find a halfway lift in the spine. Exhale, bend the elbows and fold over the legs. Reach the crown towards the floor. Breathing length into the backside body. When you're ready, release the hands. Heel toe the feet into touch. And exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Bend into your knees. Sweep the fingers up to the sky. Exhale, sink low into the hips. Take a deep breath in. Breath out, hands travel to the heart and twist over to the left. Hook your right elbow on your left thigh. Can you draw your thumb knuckles towards the center of the chest? Reach the crown forward, tailbone back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, start to float the right heel. Exhale, slow and controlled. Step it back, twisted. Press in, right toes tuck under. Continue to press into the hands. Find that twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Beautiful, next inhale, we open to our side angle. Keep the hands at the heart, left elbow to left thigh. Press the right foot into the mat. Spiral the chest open. Great work, deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more inhale. And exhale. Next inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, half moon, left hand down, right arm high. Stack right hip on top of left. You can stay here or bend into the top knee. Take hold, find your tapasana. Wherever you are, continue to breathe. And then gently release the top leg if you have it. We're landing back, warrior two. Inhale, triangle back, straighten through the left leg. Exhale, triangle pose. Left hand down, right arm high. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Spiral the inner thighs away from the midline. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Next, inhale, sweep your right arm by your ear. On your exhale, drop it down to the floor. Left fingers around, left big toe. Start to open to your side plank, Vashisthasana, any variation. Press into your right hand. Find your breath. And then release the top leg, wild thing. Left toes tuck under. Press the heart up to the sky. When you're ready, transition back to your side plank. Maybe you hover the left toes the whole time. Low twist. Left foot at the top of the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Horizons lunge. Dip the hips. Reach towards the back of the mat. Big transition. Inhale back through your low twist. Exhale. Skandhasana. Or not Skandhasana. Shiva squat at top of the mat. Right knee behind. Left. We're not there yet. Reach the crown of the head forward. Curl the heel in towards the glute. From here, find your warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. Shiva squat. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, Shiva. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, warrior three. Hold. Reach the fingers back behind you. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, land. 
crescent. Lift the fingers to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Open, warrior two. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess. Hands to the heart center. This time, float the right heel. Lower it down. Float the left heel. Lower it down. Maybe float both heels. Holding here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, back to your star. Release the heels. Exhale, skandasana. Bend into the right knee this time. Sit low. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Beautiful release onto the hips. Left hand, right ankle, right arm up overhead. Find the left foot. Beautiful. When you're ready, come on up. And this time, hug your right knee into the chest. Find that little rock side to side, starting to open up through the hips, prepping for our compass. Crown lifted. Catch your breath. It's feeling like a hot yoga class in the sun right now. Beautiful. You can stay here if you would like to. If you want to play, take your left hand onto your right foot. Start to work your right arm right shoulder underneath the right knee. Plant the right hand outside of the hip. Spin the palm to face down on your right leg. Left hand is at the outside and then straighten your right leg any amount into your compass. And then as you're ready, Maybe you want to try eight angle. Plant your left hand outside of the hip. Cross left leg over right. Start to shift forward. Extend the legs long. Bend the elbows. Find chaturanga arms. Gaze forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. From here, come back down to a seat. Find a boat pose. Reach the fingers forward. Find your breath. Inhale. And exhale, maybe this time you straighten the legs. Maybe you lift the arms. And then cross the ankles, plant the hands, step or float. Chaturanga, up dog to down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Drop down to the knees. Let's find a headstand option. Get onto your back, find a shoulder stand or waterfall, legs up the wall instead if you're craving a restorative inversion. But if you would like to headstand with me, interlace the fingers. Trick here is to take the pinky finger of the bottom hand and curl it underneath so you have a nice flat surface to balance on once you arrive in your headstand. Plant the forearms, top of the head, in between, really squeeze forearms down to the ground and to the midline tuck the toes start to lift and walk so that the hips go over the shoulders then curl one foot and then the other in towards your glutes you can stay here in this tuck position or extend the legs straight up continue to press into the forearms press into the shoulders And then as you're ready, coming down the same way you came in and find a child's pose. Reach the fingers long, let the forehead rest. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Beautiful, when you're ready, come back up. Sweep the feet forward and come all the way down onto the back. Hug the knees into the chest once you arrive. Give yourself a squeeze and then take the knees wide, soles of the feet to the sky, happy baby. 
You can stay in stillness or straighten one leg at a time. And then draw the knees back to the chest. Find a supine twist. Drop the knees to the left, gaze to the right. Come back through center and switch. Knees to the right, gaze to the left. Come back through center, hug the knees into the chest, and then release to your Shavasana. Legs long, arms wide, close the eyes. Feel the body get heavy and allow yourself the time and space to simply be, knowing that it's just as important as every pose, every movement we did in class today. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, you can start to wiggle, knowing that there's no rush, moving through hands and feet, arms and legs. Maybe a full body stretch or knees to chest feels good for you. We'll all meet up in a seat, however you get there is your choice. Making your way to your seat. Tuck the hands at the heart center, close the eyes, final moment to be here, present in this space that you created. As always, and in class with a feeling of gratitude for making it to your mat today and showing up for you. Let's take a final deep breath in. And a long sigh out, let it go. As you're ready, gently blink the eyes open. Great work. I hope you absolutely loved this class. I had so much fun filming it. And if you don't already know, I have an app called The Glow Method where I post lots and lots of classes just like this. And I do a live class once a month and I would absolutely love to have you over there. So if you're interested, all of the information is in a link down below. And thanks so much for being here on YouTube as well. You support me so much and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.